This week, I made some metal for a fundraiser. I'm going to show you how I did it. Hi everyone, welcome back to the City Aperture channel. I am actually on my way out somewhere, but I wanted to show you a project that I just did. And this is, I made some medals for a fundraiser for this uh, nonprofit that my wife is on the board for. And uh, I just want to walk you right quick through how I went about doing this. And uh, let's just jump in and at the end I'll show you some images as a fundraiser. So the first step was to trace out the logo for the Stake Wolf DC. Um, it's sort of a play on the DC flag. It has three fists as opposed to the three stars. But uh, this is what we had settled on as far as the sign for the metal. Um, now I had originally thought I was going to do a rectangular metal, which was going to sort of hang at an angle, but I very quickly went away from that for more traditional round metal. Here you see me scaling it, and then I went through and I cleaned up the fist a little bit just to simplify for 3D printing. Once I was happy with the size of this drawing, I decided to take it over to Fusion 360, which is what this software is. I started to work out different thicknesses and extruding the different parts of the metal. I ended up settling on a 3 16th thickness, uh, which is right between an eighth and a quarter. I didn't want it to be too thick because I had to print three of these guys. Normally I would uh, mold, I would print one, clean it up and mold it, but didn't have time for that. So we take it to my favorite 3D printing software, which is Cura, because it's free. I again had to print three, so I went with a very quick setting to export it out to it. Here you see me sanding them. I had to sand all three of them because, again, I, I had basically one night to make this, guys. Uh, this is all happening in, I don't know, from basically 7 p.m. to whenever I finished. Uh, so I did a quick sanding through a revolver, removing brim and any sort of excess material. And there were a couple of places that needed to be filled and also smoothed out. So at this point, after the very first rough sanding, I got out my air drying uh, filler putty. Normally I would use some filler primer, but because I didn't have time to let it dry properly, I decided let's just fill the gaps with the, with the filler putty and sand a little extra. But that will be able to paint it and everything all in the first, you know, basically in six hours. So here you see me putting filler throughout just trying to smooth out as much as I can um, and as I said I would typically make just the one go through this process with one and make a mold and then cast a bunch of them which is not, not no time for that for this project uh, once the uh, filler body dries which takes about 10 minutes to dry with pretty fairly thin layers of it on I went back to sanding you know my favorite thing you had to sand it smooth a lot of dust was created but I got it to a good enough smooth stage wasn't as smooth as I would love it to be so it looked like metal, but it was it was good enough. I knew the paint would hide some of the some of the crimes. Which is the next thing, you know, with the Olympics going on now, we decided to make three of them. We're gonna have a gold. And here you see me painting the gold one. You can see how late it is at night already. I think this by this point it was almost eleven. But we painted one gold, one silver and one bronze. After the coat of paint was done though, I, it looked flat to me, so I decided to do a similar technique that what I did, uh, if you guys remember when I made the volleyball championship belt, where I'm going to paint the background, so I took out my acrylic paint, it's a very glossy black paint, and I'm just going to paint the background so the logo and the ring of the metal stand out more in gold, but the black will still be very shiny. So that's what you see me do here, just going back and forth painting the lower portions of the metal. Um, you know, and it's acrylic, so it cleans very easily with water when I would go over it. Again, it was late, so I was, you know, painting outside the line sometimes. <laughs> and I could just wipe it very clean. It's kind of like an aging technique, I guess, almost. There you see my cat trying to get on me. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this was sort of the final step. Once this painting was done and I let this dry overnight, well, overnight, is, I think I finished around 1 a.m., I woke up early the next day and then I put a, a clear coat to just seal everything and the benefit was later on that night so here we're gonna go to the benefit. Okay. <laughs>
with it tonight? Yeah, you can shower with it. And the third and final medal is for three beers. Three beers. That's going to go to, to Evan. And here you see the final medals. Uh, they were very happy with them, and I was too. We're going to probably make more of them later, but that's a project for another time. So there you guys have it. That's how I made the three medals for this fundraiser. Again, it's for the Future Foundation, a great non-for-profit that helps kids. My wife is on the board. Um, I played some videos showing them being given away, hopefully before this. Uh, but that's it. If you like this video, please... Uh, like the video, <laughs> subscribe to the channel, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Ask any questions if you have any. If you guys like this project, then maybe you'll enjoy the podcast that I do with my two colleagues, Claudia and Ray. We discuss purpose-driven design, making, and manufacturing. We talk about architecture. We talk about all sorts of making. We have a project of the week. So, uh, yeah, please check it out. Again, it's called The Made Podcast. Thanks so much.